In November of uh, 23, I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. And with my medication, um, they've medically put me into menopause. So I already have uh, symptoms of that, like hot flashes, um, trouble sleeping, but this has definitely helped with that. This is acupuncture. Dr. Peter Shang is a physician trained in this practice. Very frequently, I'm still able to help. He uses tiny needles in specific pressure points to puncture the skin. It's a tapping into your own body's healing system and let your body work. The National Institutes of Health found an analysis of 20 studies with more than 6,000 patients shows that acupuncture may specifically help work against pain, help the immune system, and work against some of the side effects of breast cancer medications. It does multiple things other than just pain management, relax the patient, uh, improve uh, uh, the healing, decrease inflammation without using or resorting to steroid or anti-inflammatory medications. But Santrina says this hour of acupuncture, also an important message to all of us, that healing happens in a lot of ways. I think healing is more than just taking a pill. It is exercising, it's eating right, it's drinking a lot of water, it's doing acupuncture. I've also uh, signed up for a yoga class. I didn't exercise in 2023, so it's important to take care of yourself. So I wanna definitely send the message that it's you have to treat your whole body and you have to think outside the box when you want to um, help with things like cancer and pain. Santrina has invited us to follow her journey. Her small changes have added up to big results. Acupuncture, sometimes covered by medical insurance plans. If not, it's about $75 to $90 for an initial session. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.